Well, hey guys, <clears throat> I'm back. I want to show you guys, you know, uh, Tropical Storm Debbie came through here and dumped a little over eight inches of rain for us, and God, we needed it. Well, you can see the grass, we're needing it again. Got it across there. <clears throat> it's 50% tomorrow, so maybe we'll get a little bit of that. There's some of the cows. It's hot, good night, it's hot. There's some others up under the oak. Those have just got out from one of those palms. I was watching them just a minute ago. Psycho's in heat. She's got a following at the moment. Well, there's a little bit of Debbie's little garden I'm putting in for her. Uh, don't ask me what they are. I have no idea. I was never a house plant or plant kind of guy and azaleas and all those kind of things. And, that we planted outdoors that were in the sun. I, I can tell you a little bit about that kind of stuff. But uh, <clears throat> these house plants and these shade plants, I just never planted too many of them. But anyway, it's a little spot <clears throat> that I get, and actually, we'll hold a conversation or two. Now, look at this mess. We ain't got inside yet. Look at the peppers. I'm actually letting some of those hang. I'm drying them and going to seed them or get the seeds from them. Uh, there's four or five different varieties there. Don't ask me what they are right now. Uh, those are some of the, uh, there are the brown chocolates, I think. Uh, those are Tequila Sunrise, I know that. And these are Cigarette de, de Bergamos, I believe. Still a few onions. I sprayed this stuff uh, last week, first of last week. <clears throat> so I'm starting to get a kill. But I've just pulled the eggplants up and uh, you see where the grass was getting in them. It just got thrown away, guys. And uh, But anyway, got some work cut out for me. Something to do, huh? My watermelons, those are scalded. Uh, I've been feeding them to the cows. I've got, I think, three left. I think there's one, though, that's good. I've got one Georgia rattlesnake in the refrigerator now, though, that's uh, probably about 25 pounds <clears throat> that we saved. And uh, then there's some hot peppers down there. The first peppers I always show them raw, all uh, sweet peppers. But I just herbicided this. I have not herbicided down this little strip right here <clears throat> where the eggplants were. And of course, cucumbers, they've been gone. Uh, the squash, they're gone. We'll walk around here and I'll show you the inside. But it's still today, woo, and hot, hot, hot. I kind of hate showing you guys this, but I'm gonna show it to you anyway. This is an example <laughs> of a garden you had that got thrown away. <clears throat> Those are, uh, uh, shoot, Reisentraub or Reisentraub, German tomatoes, and then on down is some, uh, the black cherries, the Reisentraub or Reisentraubs, whichever they are. Those things are delicious. I'll be planting some more of those. I just kept those few uh, to keep me in a few tomatoes. I've got the same thing going on in the greenhouse. This was just a jungle. I herbicided it last week. Uh, I'm getting a kill now. Uh, actually, I'm gonna start setting some seeds and some seed trays again <clears throat> and start planting back here uh, next two or three weeks, hopefully, and uh, go from there. Uh, those are the beets. You can see where the bugs got in them, but the beets are still good. Uh, and I'm taking those and I'm juicing them. Matter of fact, I just got back from the grocery store to pick up some uh, fruits. I got some asparagus and some Brussels sprouts and uh, spinach uh, where I can juice all of that. But I'm still getting peppers. Uh, my grandson's supposed to be down towards the end of this week or the weekend and he wants to start getting these seeds out of these peppers for me. But I'm still juicing the peppers and that sort of thing. There's the carrots. Uh, again, everything just got thrown away. I just quit with it. But uh, anyway, Debbie was far more important than what's going on out here, but now we'll start again. There's some onions. These were, uh, he, excuse me, Hishikos, I think. And uh, my bell peppers, look what the uh, bugs have done to them. So what I'm doing, same thing here. You can see where these tomatoes are falling. And uh, on down here. I uh, cut these back. These were some of the black tomatoes. I never got a chance to try any of them, but I'm making a few, so hopefully I'll get a chance to try some of those. The black cherries are good. 
Uh, here, same thing here. You guys, if you remember what all this was looking like, that's what it looks like now. That's what happens when you go, you know what? Forget it. I got things more important to do. And they forgot me. But again, I'm getting a few. And it uh, keeps me in juice. But I'm fixing to pull most of this stuff up. Uh, I've got some in the big garden that will keep me in. Uh, that row there is pretty much gone. We'll show you this though. This is pretty interesting. <clears throat> I don't know how many of y'all have tried this. This was my first time. And uh, Debbie ordered these things. <clears throat> Excuse me. Along with these other herbs. And uh, DePaul. Lost in Thailand. There's the white whorehound, buddy. It was whorehounding pretty good till I quit with it. And there's a few more herbs. I'm going to try to save a few of these. And uh, there's some thyme. And uh, there was cilantro. And uh, lemon basil. Shoot, I can't remember what all it was. <clears throat> but this stevia. I had never tried it. And uh, anyway, see, I'm getting some bugs on that too. But, matter of fact, I better spray this afternoon. But uh, anyway, this stuff, you can take it and just break off a little tiny piece and put it in your mouth and the uh, sweetness just explodes. It's, it's crazy how sweet this stuff is. So anyway, I want to do some herbal tea out of it. Uh, some of these other herbs that Debbie was growing, I want to do the same thing with that. Uh, keep this thing going. Uh, she's got me on this weight loss thing now and uh, this juicing kick and all this walking and all. So. Uh, I'm going to keep it going for her. Uh, she lost her battle, but uh, getting all this weight off me, she's probably saved my life. And so, how can you go wrong keeping that up? Again, there's hot peppers. Uh, look at the grass, guys. Look at it from this angle. Isn't that crazy? Crazy. It was just so beautiful. It was doing so good. And uh, But I'll get it back. And uh, again, see how, see how dry these peppers are? I've watered them the last two days, but this heat right now, our strawberries are about gone. <clears throat> Again, I just, you know, whatever. But uh, anyway, guys, that's, uh, here's the greenhouse from the other end. Doesn't look like much like a greenhouse now, does it? Like a brown house. So, but, you know, you do what's most important, and I did. In my heart, I felt I did. So, anyway, these were all, uh, Different kind of peppers I had coming. And they're gone. But I'm fixing to get it going again. So again, this is this is what I got cut out to do. I've got a big job in front of me, but looking forward to doing it. And uh, <clears throat> here's our miracle grow again. We pulled everything up. Look coming back in it. See that? Look at the weeds. I had weeds in here honestly over three foot high in these two beds let me back this thing up again these two beds right here and again we bought them out of miracle grow and uh it was the craziest thing i'm telling you i have weeds as high almost as these bell peppers and uh, all through the carrots the onions you could not hardly see when we first got back in here the beets up front and uh, anyway but <clears throat> i'll keep working with it now uh they have told me they're going to reimburse me. I have not seen a check yet. Uh, give another couple of days and I'll call them again. <clears throat> but their first reaction was, oh, we'd have wrote you a check right off the bat, but you bought so much. I'm like, no. So anyway, but uh, they seem to be, they seem to be acting like they're going to do the right thing. And uh, again, this is the uh, jungle growth. Now the tomatoes don't look very good because of the treatment they've had, but in the same breath, there's no weeds, guys. None. None. Jungle growth. There it is right there. Jungle growth. But I'd have put this whole thing in Miracle Grow just because, shoot, I thought that's what you used. I have several times. And, uh, and again, it was probably a batch they had because they could not stay in business with what I had in here. But uh, again, I think they're going to do the right thing and at least reimburse me the money that I spent for it. And it's like I told them, I said, guys, I could have went anywhere on this place and dug up and had the same thing. That's why I bought your soil and paid the price I paid for it, was to keep this stuff out of it. But anyway, uh, you know, it was just, uh, again, I believe it was a people problem and we have that ourselves. So 
but guys listen real quick uh while we're looking across this thing one more time <clears throat> the last video i put up keep a smile on your face and more on your heart you guys response and comments were just pff, overwhelming to me and uh you know you see so much going on in the world that's bad and uh you know uh you hear about it you read about it you see it on tv but i gotta tell y'all there is some really really good people out there still today and uh i'm blessed to know a lot of them and and i'm talking about y'all because you guys you guys helped me a lot and uh, i had some buddies going oh man go to grief therapy blah, or something like that i don't even remember what they called it but uh, you know i'm a hands-on guy i take things as the old expression is i grab the bull by the horns and hang on and that's how i handle stuff and uh but that was a little tribute i had done to debbie dang i loved her but uh i gotta tell y'all you guys really really made me feel good in my heart so thank you every one of you for that and uh you know uh man you just don't know how much i appreciate it so you guys know who you are and uh you know your comments were fantastic and uh heartfelt believe me i, I really appreciated it so i'm gonna close this with you guys keep a smile on your face and one in your heart just like debbie want us to and uh <clears throat> you guys have a great day and god bless every one of you take care